I'm Colorado Caddy, loser, alcoholic, addict, ex-dope dealer turned hope dealer. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> no, for real though, I'm Colorado Caddy. You're watching my channel. This is what's been going down. Like when, when everything revolves around that one thing, you know what I'm saying? You have that one thing. When everything revolves around that one thing and that one thing gets taken from you, days feel like months, months feel like years. And I know it sounds a bit over-dramatized, but for real, like skating, riding boards, that's, that's my life. If you watch my channel, if you watch my page, if you watch anything, if you know me at all, you know how much I love and how much I put into this shit. So yeah, I guess it's been a little bit since I've done a sit down and talk to y'all video. But things have just been crazy, man, since, since the little car accident. We'll get into that. Uh, I got hit by a freaking car. Like I said, we will get into that. So I was heading out and it was just like a lot of mornings when I ran out to the store to get salads and stuff for my lizards. And I'm at the crosswalk. The crosswalk goes to the little walk sign, you know? Walk, walk, walk. I went to cross and a lady just turned. She came out of nowhere. She ran over my foot and it twisted my foot in a really weird way. So I sprained my ankle. I had a couple torn ligaments in the top of my foot. And even just like two weeks of this, two weeks of being out was, it sucked. It was like three weeks I was in a cast and then I cut the cast off. I couldn't do it anymore. They put me in a cast, they put me in like a fiberglass cast or whatever it is. And I could not move. I had no mobilization whatsoever. I couldn't walk, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. And I definitely couldn't skate. And so I ripped it off and realized I still couldn't skate. The pressure on my front foot it still hurts. I mean, it hurts walking around. It hurts when I go into tuck on anything the last few times I've tried to skate. It hurts. It, it fucking sucks. So I should have been in that cast for six weeks. Like I said, I cut it off at three weeks. God, looking at myself with this missing tooth just... It sucks. It, that's... Damn, that shit sucks. But anyways, back to, back to the ankle. And six weeks i had avs coming up in four weeks it devastated me i couldn't go to avs i wanted to race avs with the homies so bad everybody watching from california much love to y'all y'all put on a dope ass event i really wish i could have been there um that had me really bummed out i also had a halloween ride coming up that week a halloween group ride so the homies from denver was like hey we got drift trikes we have electric drift trikes we'd love to get you on one um love for you to try it out and you'll be able to participate in the group ride since you can't be on a board right now. I said, fuck it. I rode in the Halloween ride on a drift trike in a cast. And even though I could send it while I was in a cast on this drift trike, I still wasn't mobile. I still couldn't do anything and it was driving me nuts. Yeah, I understand the pain. I understand things don't heal right, but I cannot sit still. I go fucking crazy. Um, you can see in this video, I'm, I'm filming walking around. I, I think where I go wrong in a lot of my videos is I try to sit still and I try to do what every other YouTube does. And I'm not every other YouTube channel. So yeah. Me not being on a board does not make any sense it it doesn't it doesn't feel real to me me not being able to me not being able to have that outlet me not being able to express my feelings yeah i'm a fucking dude and i got feelings oh my god isn't that mind blowing but yeah i i become very unstable like i said in the beginning of this i chase dopamine and that's because the alcoholic and addict side of me is always going to chase dopamine. I'm always going to want more. I'm always going to want that feeling. I'm always going to want adrenaline. And it's not just that adrenaline necessarily that keeps me going. It's, 
it's the community it's being part of something it's it's feeling bigger than i actually am and i think that that's something that a lot of us who have struggled with addiction who have struggled with alcoholism who have who have fucking struggled in general that's that's something we all want that's something we all we all love we want to be part of something it's human nature to be wanted it's human nature to want to be part of something bigger than yourself so i don't know exactly where the future is going to take me i don't know exactly what this next year is going to be i don't know if i'll be able to skate how i was skating i don't know if i'll be able if this lead foot doesn't heal up in some way then yeah i'm fucked and i'm gonna have to figure something out for sure i mean there's always i'm always gonna have fun riding boards i'm always gonna be able to ride boards but i'm a competitive person i have a very competitive nature i love racing i love competing i love getting out there and just full-blown sending it if i can't do that drinking again is not an option drugging again is not an option where's that gonna put me you guys got suggestions down below you got you got things all my adrenaline junkies what do you guys do to get that fix let me know in the comments let me know what your little favorite thing is to do let me know what gets your blood pumping now when i say that i feel like i don't have a purpose without riding it's hard to explain. I mean, I, I have my family, my wife, my kids, my lizards, my reptiles. I, I love all these things, these people. I love my family. I love my friends, but I loved everything when I was drinking too. And it filled some kind of void. There's some kind of void inside of me that adrenaline fills that being wild being loud smiling being happy it replaces it it's a void like nothing i can really explain but the bottom line is i can't not be mobile i can't not ride so over the next few weeks i'm sure you're going to see a lot of different content from me and I'm done doing what I think everybody wants to see. If you want to see something, I'm just gonna do what I wanna do. I'm gonna post what I wanna post. I'm gonna give as much back to this amazing community as I possibly can. If a thousand people don't like my video, but five people do, then cool, much love to you five, and you five are what I'm doing this for. And well, yes, I did miss work, and the medical bills are gonna mess me up a little bit, and mentally and physically, I don't know if I'll ever, ever be the same. Because like I said, if I can't skate again, I'm not mentally going to be the same at all. But I don't know what this lady's life is like. I don't know who she is. I don't know what she has going on. For all I know, if, if I got the courts involved or tried to go after her in a lawsuit, it could really mess up her life. And I know that sounds silly. I know that sounds funny. But I've been hurt before and didn't get some huge payout from it before. So... I don't need it now. I just, I pray and I really, really hope that I'm able to get back on a board and do everything I love eventually. And if not back on a board, at least just, at least just get over the sadness of not being able to ride or, or not being able to skate the way I used to skate. Whew, that's a bummer to even say out loud. I had a bunch of people asking me like why don't I why don't I sue this lady? Why don't I take her to court? In all honesty, law firms don't represent people with criminal backgrounds. Um especially when it goes into lawsuits and stuff, we're uncredible in the court of law. So that wasn't really an option and besides, I don't know what this lady's life. I don't want a lawsuit lady's life is like. I don't want a lawsuit to mess up whatever she has going so yes regardless of any foot injury regardless i get hit by a truck and i promise you promise you i'm gonna find a way to get out there and ride just like you would i mean sit, sitting there right now you you answer me that is there anything in this world that could stop you from doing what you love and i've realized it doesn't have to just be one thing i just love being i love going fast i love being on different things i just 
I love living life and that's what I'm going to continue to do. So until next video, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you for staying tuned in. And until next time, peace.